what is going on guys it's your boy Ray Cade here and I am sorry for that cringy intro but I'm trying something new so today I have kind of a different video for you I haven't made any Terraria videos on my channel but I have been addicted to this game for a while now and I thought I would show you how to create the Terra Blade I know, it's a pretty decently nice sword it's 130 damage I'm, I believe and pretty nice speed and knockback so that's a plus so let's get right into it so if you're playing Terraria it's a pretty hard mode and you just defeated Skeletron you got a gold key first thing you want to do is go into the chest in the dungeon and try to find the Miramasa which it's one of the best pre hard mode weapons you can find 23 damage but it's, it's a little faster so you're gonna need that next thing you're gonna need is you're gonna need to have a solar eclipse which will drop hero swords you're gonna need three of these if you're on console two if you're on PC three if you're on mobile then what you want to do is go to your crafting table and you want to bless your world with mithril which you can get from the crimson biome you just gotta destroy a demon altar with one of your hammers so then you got your mithril anvil place that down next thing you're gonna need is to kill the eye of cthulhu or the brain of cthulhu which will drop crimtain which you can use a few crimtain bars to create the blood butcher which is one of the weapons you're gonna need to do this which is right here again one of the best swords you can end up having it does 28 damage and it's fairly faster so now that you have the blood the blood butcher and the mary masa next thing you're going to need is some hellstone so you want to go down to hell mine make a elevator you want to go all the way down to hell mine your hellstone and some obsidian to make some hellstone bars and a hellstone forge doing that you will be able to craft this sword it's called the fiery great sword it does 46 melee damage but it's a little bit slower but it's still you know stronger see this right here it also glows which is a plus for me it's pretty big <laughs> so the last thing you're gonna need to do is go to the jungle and you're gonna want to pull out some jungle spores and some stingers so you you get stingers from killing moss hornets or just normal hornets and jungle spars will be anywhere all you gotta do is mine them doing that and going to an anvil you'll be able to create the blade of grass which is another good sword 36 melee damage but it's faster decent this is actually what got me through pre-hard mode when I first started playing on mobile this sword and this sword so the next thing you're gonna want to do is get some hellstone or get some hollowed bars which you do by killing a mechanical boss so I killed the mechanical boss, I killed them all actually, with my buddy Nolan. And so I got 46 hollow bars, so all you would do is create the Excalibur. Another weapon, it's pretty decent. It's a broadsword. So then, now you have all these weapons, right? You wanna take these three weapons right here oh wait maybe four anyway so you want to take these swords and 
and then take yourself over to a crimson pile. So you're here. So you end up going down. You find yourself a demon altar. I have one right here. Just in a sec. Pop yourself down, and you will be able to create. Where is it? There it is. The Knight's Edge with all these swords combined. So, you create the Knight's Edge, and this is actually the best weapon you'll be able to get before hard mode. You can't get anything better. So definitely something you want to aim for. So I think it's honestly worth it for all of them to get the Knight's Edge. So as I was saying, so now you have the Knight's Edge and you have the Escalator. Two of the best weapons of the game before pre-hard mode. You want to go to an anvil. And you remember the broken hero swords I was talking about? All you want to do is take a broken hero sword and the Excalibur to make the true Excalibur a knight's edge and a broken hero sword to make the true knight's edge so now you have projectiles in both of them they shoot stuff and they're actually fairly stronger 77 and 100 so this is the best weapon other than the terror blade on console and mobile then if you combine another Broken Hero Sword and the true Excalibur and the Knight's Edge, you will create the Terror Blade, which ends up being this. And if you want me to go test this out, let's te test it out. These pixies, oof, oof. It's pretty much one shot on everything. It doesn't matter what it is. Here, I'll go get a spawn. Is there any daytime bosses in this game? I don't think so. No, there's no one. Okay, anyway. This is, yeah, this was the Terrorblade tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed it. It was pretty fun to make, but at the same time, it was a hellhole to make. And I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.